Okay, so here's how I'm using Leeches and Skid to study and then drill opening repertoire. Worth noting, I'm a big noob. Uh, I'm roughly, I've been playing for my local club a bit, kind of mid to bottom uh, club player and needing to, <laughs> to, to get hot on my opening theory, which is pretty minimal. Um, so first off, Lee Chess uh, has a thing called studies. You will find lots of videos on YouTube about learning openings and using studies to do it. Um, so the way I happen to be doing that is I'm building a repertoire around my uh, black response to D4. Um, and the way I'm doing that is I'm creating an, uh, an opening chapter with all the main lines that are gonna get after I do my response. So then the next lines are then going to be um, C4, E6, kind of heading towards an Imso Indian, uh, F3, which can transpose to a whole load of things like a London or the Collis system, uh, and, and so on. So, so this gives me a, a summary. So I can use this as a, as a launch pad and I can come back in here and I can look through this and I can familiarize myself with the ideas and the concepts and I can build these lines. Um, I've deleted a whole load of quite deep studies that I did in the past and kind of starting again because I spent too much time with um, uh, not looking at them. Um, so that's like the, the opening chapter and then the next level down I can then go into that a little bit more and then break that down into further chapters and as I kind of ingest YouTube videos and kind of try to get a better grasp on these variations I'll add them into this study and grow the study. Um, what's nice about these as well, uh, did I do it in here? Yeah, so on the Trompowski variation, is this the Trompowski attack? Yeah. Um, I have linked to a YouTube video, so when I'm studying this again, when I do the Trompowski attack here, I'll think, oh, oh yeah, the YouTube video is there as well. Um, I can use that as a reference. So yeah, so Leeches studies, you can create a repertoire database and go in here and uh, go through it again and learn the concepts. But then what's great, if on your studies and every single chapter can be exported as a PGM file or a PGM game, um, if you always start them from a, a blank board and always do all of the moves, this can then be really great as a way to load a database for Skid. So we're gonna to go to share here and do download study PGN. So that's gonna be a PGN containing every single chapter as a separate game. So in this case, we're gonna have nine games. So I'm gonna download that study PGN. In fact, I've done that already. Uh, so I've downloaded that. And then if I open up Skit, I can create a database. I'll create a brand new database. And a database in Skid is, uh, I already have one, but I'll just do another one. This is uh, E4 Black, was it? E4 Black 2. And I'm going to then import the games from that PGM file into this database, and that's it. So I'm going to go database, import files of PGM files. I'm going to find the one that I downloaded, which was... Uh, oh, it was the default one I was looking at, wasn't it? But let's, uh, let's just grab that one. I know it's there. I'll be wiping these files out later on. Um, so that's really it. I'm just going to switch the board because I'm going to be drilling as black. So I now have um, this database open with, my op with all of the chapters from my opening study in it. And so what the opening trainer will do was, is that when it's the computer's turn to move, it'll look through all the games in the database and pick at random one of the moves available given the current position. So you can see that that's really useful for drilling and you can then load up a database that's as narrow or as wide as you want and there are other ways to do this other than studies, of course, but I found this really useful. One quirk is that you have to choose an appropriate database icon for your database before you can do the training. So you have to choose openings for one or the other, black in this case, as the database icon, or it doesn't work. Go figure. So then we go um, play, training, openings uh for black i'm unticking these two i don't want to only to pick the best moves i want to explore all the lines in my study and then you can see that it starts moving so there we go we're playing the d4 lines i'm just going to move this out the way and i'm going to play my response which will be knight to 
f6. Uh, and we get this, and I'm not sure what my response is, and I should do, right? So this is going to be either d4. Yeah, there we go. So this is looking like the Collie system, I believe. Uh, I reckon that, yeah, this ship comes out to here. That's right. Now, this is now said end of variation, because in my study, I've not gone that deep into this line, okay? So once I hit the end of the variation, I've done a good job. Um, I hit double back to get back to the beginning. There's a bug in Skid when you play this as black, that it asks you to save every time you do that. Very annoying. Um, but yeah, so now we're starting again, and it can become really quite addictive. Right, so um, we're getting this line, which is headed towards an Indo Indian. Yeah. Right, I'm not going to show you me <laughs> me uh, repeating this over and over again, but you kind of get the idea. Um, what's nice though, if you make a wrong move, wrong being something that's not in the repertoire, right? Um, it's going to tell you. And then, in essence, you've made a mistake. Of course, you might have made a good move, but it's not in the repertoire that you're training. Uh, and that's it. So there you have it. That's um, using SCID with Lee Chess Studies to drill an opening repertoire. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, comments and so on. Eat your heart out. Bye. Bye.